Hey guys, what is up? It's Techie Wiki here, back with another video. Um, uh, sorry I haven't been recording that much, or haven't been recording for the past, like, three months. I've had school, um, and yeah. And in this video, we're gonna be, like, going over COGS, and, like, how to make COGS. COGS are basically just an organization. Like, you can organize your code better. So, first thing you wanna do, you wanna make a new folder called COGS. Um, just make a new file called, uh, Cog one dot or test dot i, and then you want to go into your main file, and then type this for file name in os dot list reader dots dot slash cogs. If by file name dot ends with dot Hi. This is basically going over all of the files in the cog folder, and if the file name ends with dot pi, um, client dot load extension, and make an f string cogs dot file name. This is basically just getting like like removing the last three numbers. Um, yeah. So if you do this, you go into cogs test file. Let's let's just restart it. It's gonna give an error. Cogs test has no setup function. So basically, what you do here is just do import discord from discord.exe import commands. Okay. So now in the test cog, you want to make a class. Class test cog commands dot cog def in it self plan oh my god I cannot spell this is basically just initializing the client as um like an actual object so like uh instead of doing just like client you need to use self dot client now so for the setup you need to use def setup bot or client client dot add cog test cog bot not bot client so it's gonna there's not gonna be an error now so now we have the cog so now we can actually put commands in it uh i'm gonna put the ping command Okay, so this is where a lot of stuff changes. So instead of doing at client dot command, you need to add commands dot command, and then after async dot pin, you need to do self dtf, and then latency was self dot client dot latency. Self dot client is basically the same thing as client, but it needs to be self dot client if it's in a cog. Um, and then and then for events in cog, you need to add commands dot cog dot listener and you don't actually yeah, you put the um parentheses after that async def on message on print message dot author message.content all right um this will work oh you're right i need to remove the pink command well dot ping yeah and then um oh yeah i forgot self so Maybe if I said e, e, e. All right, so this works. Um, but so this thing called like unloading, you can unload cogs, reload cogs, and load cogs. Unloading cog just removes it so that it doesn't work for anybody. Um, once you unload it, like nobody can use it. And then if you want to reload it, that just like changes the code. Like if you made any changes, you don't need to restart the bot. And after that, loading like. 
you can only load it if it's unloaded or there was an error loading it when you restarted the bot. So we can do def, def is it me ctf return ctf author id equals that. And then if you add client dot command at um commands dot check is it mm, async def reload. I'm just gonna do reload because um unload and load are like not necessary. You can just restart the bot for that. So ctx x10 no extension bot dot on load x10 I think on a client Yeah, but if you make changes in main.py, then uh, you can't, you can't, like, you need to reset the plot. Um, what's it called? It's called the test. Okay, cool. That worked. Um, this is just a short cog video. And if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more discord.py tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.